Welcome to Hamad's Biology Online Lecture Room. My name is Hamad Ahmad Jan, lecturer in Botany, Kurtaba University of Science and Information Technology, Peshawar Campus, Pakistan. The topic of uh, this video lecture is Principles of Taxon. This is the third part of this uh, topic. Principle of Taxonomy Hutchinson's general principles adopted for the classification of flowering plants are number one evolution is both upwards and downwards the latter involving degradation and degeneration for example towards sympatless condition and epigyne and towards the epitless state of many flowers unisexuality in the flower flowering plants second evolution does not necessarily involve all organs of plant at the same time means in all parts of the plants evolution does not occur at the same time in some plants evolution occur while in other there is no evolution or reverse evolution occur one organ or set of organs may be advancing while another set is stationary or retrograding for example in family chrysolaceae the carpels have remained free while some genera are sympatless Evolution has generally been consistent and when a particular progression or retrograding has set in, it is persisted into the end of the phylum. For example, the strong tendency to zygomorphy of the corolla coupled with the reduction in the number of stamens in anglers. Hypogynous metaclamide, the great tendency to perigyne and epigyne in the archiclamide and metaclamide as exhibited in the families Apiaceae and Rubiaceae, respectively. In certain groups, trees and shrubs are probably more primitive than herbs. Examples mimosaceae and cecilpinaceae trees and shrubs as compared with the family fabaceae becoming herbaceous which is the advanced one from the cecilpinaceae and mimosaceae trees and shrubs are older than climbers the latter habit having been acquired through particular environment perennial are older than biennials mean the plants that grow for many years are older are it is the oldest characteristic from the biennial annuals have been derived not the extraordinary few annuals in the primitive family Renanculaceae and in Rosaceae. The great number in the more advanced and natural family Brassicaceae. Aquatic Phenerogames are as a rule more recent than terrestrial and the same may be said of epiphytes and parasites. Plant with collateral vascular bundles arranged in a cylinder, like in dicotyledonous plants, are more primitive in origin than those with scattered bundles, as the condition in the monocots. Though it does not necessarily follows that the latter have been directly derived from the former. The spiral arrangement of leaves on the stem and on the floral leaves is primitive characteristic than that of the opposite and wall types. 
as a rule simple leaves are primitive than compound leaves it means that compound leaves are evolved from simple leaves bisexual or hermaphrodite flowers are primitive then unisexual flowers and dioecious is advanced condition then monoecious condition means reduction in the flower parts is advancement in the flower or it means that whenever the reduction occur in the floral parts the evolution progressive evolution occur in the flower single or solitary flower condition is primitive than inflorescence condition the highest form of the inflorescence is umbel and capitulum means the umbel and capitulum are the most advanced characteristic of a flower spirally imbricate floral parts are more primitive than whorled and velvet many parted flowers polymerous condition is primitive then the type with few parts oligomerous condition which is advanced characteristic being accompanied by a progressive sterilization of reproductive parts petaliferous flowers is primitive condition then a petalous condition means the flowers with petal as in the dicot is a primitive characteristic while the apetalous means without petal flowers as in case of monocot is the advanced character free petals polypetaly is primitive condition then conet petals sympetalous or fused petals fused petal is advanced characteristic then free petals actinomorphy is primitive then zygomorphy means the when the floral parts are arranged in a regular manner it is the primitive character then when the floral parts are arranged irregularly hypogyny is primitive then perigyny and epigyny free carpels apocarpy is primitive then conate carpels many carpels is primitive then oligocarpy few carpels the endospermic seed with small embryo is primitive then non endospermic seeds many stamens is primitive condition then few stamens free stamen is primitive then conate stamens aggregate fruit is advanced characteristic then solitary or single fruit and as a rule the capsule thank you for watching the video